Hi, my name is Denise Andrick, and I'm from Designs by Nini, and I'm here today at the Central Jersey Arts Council, and today we're gonna to show you how to make bath bombs. So to start, we're gonna need a few items that you can pick up at any store, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any craft store that you can find. We're gonna need baking soda, citrus acid, Epsom salt, sweet almond oil, and any fragrance that you prefer for your bath bomb. So you can use measuring cups, but I prefer scale, but it doesn't matter either way. I use a shifter, so this way, cause be uh, baking soda can be very crumbly, so it helps mixing it together. And for your first thing, you're gonna use 16 ounces of baking soda. Which will make at least five bath bombs. That's why I like this scale, because it gives me a nice number. And we could shift it inside, because all these big clumps, you want to get rid of all those big clumps. We are going to tear our scale, and we are going to use the citric acid. And I will pick it up this way so it doesn't fall all over the place. Okay, I also like to shift the citric acid because that can also be clump, clumpy. And we are gonna use eight ounces. So the baking soda and the citric acid together will cause all the bubbling that you're gonna have in your bath. And you can see here that it's all clumpy, so you wanna just shift that through real nice. All right, now with the Epsom salt, you don't need the shifter. You're gonna use two ounces of Epsom salt. All right, so this is gonna be our, our dry ingredients. So now that we have all that in there, just move it around a little bit. We can put this to the side and now we're gonna do all of our wet ingredients. All right, so we have to put our wet ingredients inside um, to help the bath bombs hold together. We are going to be using sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil is very luxurious moisturizing for you. We have lavender 4042 essential oil, oil. You can get this just about anywhere. Now the one that, um, this is optional. This is called Poly Serboy 80. What this does is it helps create the oils and colors to bind together so you don't get the ring around the tub. This is totally optional. You do not have to put it in, but it does help you in the long run with um, combining all of the oils and colors together. So the first one we're gonna do is our sweet almond oil. We're gonna do one ounce, one ounce. Then we're gonna do 0.25 ounces of polyserboid 80. Which once again, it's very optional, but it does help with that whole ring around the tub. Your fragrance oil, you're gonna use uh, one, uh, 0.15 with the fragrance. Now this is also a personal preference if you like to have more. You can use more, you can use less, but essential oils is also a little bit strong, so you don't want to put too much in there. With making bath bombs, you are going to want to use gloves. So before we add the oils in, we want to just get your hands in there and just kind of shift it together to make sure there's no clumps. And then I'd like to add the color. So we're gonna do, since we're doing lavender bath bombs, we're gonna add lavender color. This is mica, this is Skin Safe Colorant. Kind of 
just shift it together. When you add the oils, you will see the color will start to pop out. Okay. You kind of like to make a little hole in the middle. And then you're gonna pour all of your luxurious oils in there. And because everything is absolutely good to use, you wanna use it all. Make sure you get all of it. All right, so now you're gonna get your hands inside and you're just gonna mix it all together. So what we're looking for here is you want a consistency of wet sand. Now, depending on the weather, you may need more um, wetness or you may need less. And when we're done with this, then we're going to see if we need to add anything more. And what you do is you add witch hazel. You could use alcohol or water, but that will activate the citric acid. So the witch hazel, in my opinion, has been the best. Just want to make sure, and things get to the side, so, okay. So what we want to look for here is you want to see if it holds together. So you kind of just take it, put it to the side. It breaks apart. So we are going to add witch hazel. This is why I said you get very messy. So I always start off with just maybe a squirt and then check it. If you do too much, then when your bath bombs are drying, they could kind of create these little lumps, which is totally okay, just doesn't look pretty. I'm just gonna try a squirt. You can always add more, but you cannot take away. Okay, so let's do the test. And might just need just one more squirt. held together nice. All right, so now we are ready to put it in the mold. So I purchased these, I believe, on Amazon. And what these are great for is after you take it out of your mold, you can place them in here to dry. If you just put a wet bath bomb like on the table, the bottom will flatten out. And that's why you wanna keep them real nice and round. And then I found this little muffin sheet just to keep them all in place. We also have some lavender flowers that we're going to put so they, they're on the top. Just take a little bit. Place it inside. Now you're gonna wanna fill the one side of the mold and I like to kinda just fill it over top. The other one, like a little like dome. You're gonna take both these and push them together as hard as you can. Okay, I kind of put my fingers and really push. You're gonna use your palms and push this together real hard. It takes a lot of muscle to do it. Now you're gonna use your trusty spoon and you wanna tap it and then tap the other side. This is gonna release it from the mold. Let's see. And then there you have your bath bomb, which now you can place in your mold and let it sit and dry. And you're gonna want them to dry for at least 24 hours. All right, so if you're gonna give this away for a gift, it's really cute, really easy, cheap idea how to do this. Everything was from the dollar store. <laughs> okay, so you need your scissors and just get a thing of tool right here. Cut that up. Some, any color ribbon that you'd like. So we have 
we have our bath bomb. And you can kind of just wrap it up real nice. Use the rubber band to hold it in place. If you're good enough, you don't have to, then you're lucky. <laughs> then we're gonna wrap it with the ribbon. And you can hear, this was made the other day, nice rock hard solid bath bomb. Okay, and then you can add and you can add a little label. You can make these on your computer. And you take your scissors. And if you do it right. It's too long, you just cut it off. And you have a nice little gift that you could give. First, you're gonna chop that. Nice little gift that you could give for Valentine's Day. So thank you for watching and learning how to make these wonderful bath bombs for Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, any day that you want. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Designs by Nini, or you could also even go on to my Etsy page, which is also Designs by Nini, and see a lot of fun other things that we have to offer.